Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Just down my local club water tonight. Yes, for a, an hour or so. It's a lovely night as you can see. Uh, a little bit overcast. Gentle breeze. Should be perfect. Uh, just arrived. Just having a wee look about. I've not seen any fish rise yet, but there's certainly plenty of fly life. Uh, so I'd expect things to... Well, I'd certainly expect things to come on soon. Uh, there's a couple of guys fishing down the far end. There's one guy fishing down this end. Uh, maybe I'll cut Jan and see, see what's happening. over it now. Nice 16 suspender buzzer. And get that out of the net. This hook isn't straightened because that'll annoy me. No, it's not. You've got to expect that when you're fishing quite small flies, you're going to lose a few, uh, especially on the surface. You know, the fish are coming up and they may just, uh, they may just miss it or they may not take it fully. the right fly on, that's the main thing. That 
that wind's just picking up a wee bit. Don't really want it to be, be going any, uh, getting any worse than that. <laughs> getting any worse than that because that's probably going to put the fish down. It's actually changing direction slightly, which isn't a bad thing because it's coming in towards me now. Put that with the rod. <laughs> God of me. <laughs> As I was saying, you lose a few of these small hooks. <laughs> I certainly lose a few. That's for sure.
Head of the war. Oh, come on. Don't be hooked any deeper, I'll tell you. Right in. That's a good fish, that's a bit. That might be f four pounds, something like that.
Let's back over that. As you can see, we're moving. There's uh, it's plenty of fish here, but with that wind can pretty much go in completely. Uh, it's very, very difficult to get them to take anything. If few, I've seen a few boil at the fly, that normally means they're coming up to take it and then they see the line or they change their mind. So uh, I'm going around here, there's a decent wee breeze around here and if there's any kind of eyes like there was uh, around there we'll be we'll be okay we'll be any fish we'll probably get about 15 20 minutes of light left uh, and then it'll just be too be too dark yeah. I don't mind fishing in the dark but it's getting uh, it's getting pretty cold so uh, we'll give it 10 15 minutes around here you can probably hear how unfit I am. Bowen. Uh, I haven't seen any fish rising over here, but there's one quite far out. But uh, there's one. It's a, a small brown trout. I think we'll just go out to the, the point and we'll, we'll fish out and see if we can rise one. We'll start off quite short because uh, could be quite close into the bank. Suspender buzzer, the one I caught the fish on earlier. I had three on that so far tonight. So that's back on. We'll see if anything's doing. So see, start off relatively short. There's a fish there actually. And the little breeze just helps, it helps hide the, the leader. It uh, makes them so much more confident to come up and take it. I can hear fish moving, but... Yeah, there's a couple of fish out in there, I think we'll, we'll get in. See if we can cover one or two of them. I've no doubt if I get one in front of 
a fish's nose, it will, it will take it in this, in this ripple. Just shows you the difference that wee breeze makes. It's like night and day. That's a nice fish. Picked up some weed. Um, Getting a workout tonight, that's for sure. That's a nice fish actually. That's called the quick release. <laughs> Take me through the weeds. Yeah, see, I'll just a little suspender buzzer. That's about as uh, that's about as big as I would use in these conditions because you don't want the the fly floating too high in the water, you want it in the in the surface film. So the bit of foam I'm using is only probably uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's maybe four mil thick, something like that. I'll, I'll check. I think it's four mil thick. And uh, there's there's no much of it there, it's maybe five or six mil of it. And the fly just sits I mean, just in the surface film, it's, it's ideal for these conditions. And that wind's absolutely perfect now, if I get any... Uh, if I manage to cover any more fish, I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll... I'll uh, get another couple. I wish I could tell you how cold it was. It's just as soon as that sun goes away, it just uh, the temperature just drops rapid. They were certainly in a chasing mood tonight. They were when I first arrived. They were. They were chasing the suspender buzzer and that normally means they're on the sedges but I couldn't see any sedges in the water but it, it might have been that they were. They might have been hatching further up here and, and getting blown down. Uh, but they were certainly in a chasing mood. But uh, that wee change in the wind certainly certainly killed it down, down the far end. I should probably have uh, Moved up here a bit sooner. It's difficult to move from a place when uh, you're seeing fish rising all, all around you, but that's uh, sometimes you just have to do it and hedge your bets. You know, if they're rising in the same numbers down there as, as they are uh, anywhere else in the dam, then you've knocked it off because there was a huge amount of fish rising, there's a fish there. That's the first fish I've seen rising since I caught that fish.
That's when you know it's getting late, the bats are out. It'll be interesting to see how this, the camera picks the, the light up because uh, it's, it's, it's pretty dark. I'm sure it probably won't seem like that on the camera. These cameras now are so good. I know from experience there's a weed bed out there about uh, maybe 20, 25 feet out. You can see the the swans are in amongst them now, but that's uh, if there's any insects hatching that's that's where they'll be hatching from. Just broke surface over here. Didn't catch it. it might be a, might be a small brown trout. There's one out there, but I'll cast the left of it. I don't like to cast too close to the, the swans. <laughs> Come on, swan, move. Just having to guess where my fly is. And if I see a fish rise in the kind of general vicinity, I'll just draw the line into it. But the best thing to do, in my opinion, is not to strike. Because <laughs> quite often we'll be chasing it. Give them every opportunity to get it that you can. The rises are few and far between now. That was a good cast. That's pretty much right over the weed bed where I would expect the fish to be. You can see the bats actually. Turn the camera up so you can maybe see them. There's quite a few of them normally, there's two or three, but I see there's at least six or seven tonight. In fact, a lot more than that, there's quite a few of them. Hope you can see them. cast just over the weed bed where the swans were feeding. It's just after nine.
Okay guys, so that's me packed up and heading back round to the car. A good night's fishing. Uh, I had seven, seven to the net in the end. Uh, and I don't know, maybe six or seven uh, decent decent takes that I, that I missed. Uh, yeah. When you're fishing small dry flies, it's they can be like that. Uh, but you have to persevere. Chopped and changed a wee bit. But, uh, that was down to conditions more than anything. Uh, conditions changed two or three times. Uh, the wind picked up from when I from when I arrived, and then dropped back down to practically a flat calm. Uh, so I moved. I moved round the, the far bank to where the breeze was and uh, pretty much straight away into a fish. I think uh, in hindsight, if I'd done that a wee bit sooner, I could have had uh, quite a few more fish around there. Uh, but uh, as I said, my, uh, as I said earlier, it's uh, difficult to leave a place when you see so many fish rising. But when it's flat camera, like it's very, very difficult to catch them uh, off the top. Uh, certainly with the, with the gear I was using, I'm, I'm, normally I would scale down the, certainly scale down the leader. Uh, but when you, you're only up, up for a couple of hours fishing, you're not going to start chopping and changing as as, uh, as much as you maybe would do if you were here for the full day. Uh, so I'm just, I was just down, that, was, that was two hours fishing uh, And I enjoyed that Doesn't it half cold down, I tell you Absolutely freezing but, uh, Thanks for joining me again Really appreciate all the, all the messages I've had and, uh, If I've not replied to anybody yet and, uh, My emails, I will get it to you uh, I know a lot of guys have uh, been uh, ordering my tinsels and my dubbins recently. Uh, so really, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, and it's always nice to get the feedback. I know the, I certainly, <laughs> certainly know I need to to become a millionaire. That's for sure. But uh, I really enjoy doing it. Uh, anything, anything fishing related, now. I enjoy it, so thanks guys, I really appreciate it, and as I say, anybody that's not received a, an email back, I will get to you uh, in the next day or so, uh, and that includes the, the guys that were asking me to tie some flies, I will I will get back to you, uh, I just don't like to, I don't like to promise people things and then uh, things things turn up with, with work and stuff, and, uh, it just uh, it j just becomes it becomes difficult, and I, I don't like letting people down. But as I said to you before, I've got probably a dozen people that I, I tie for regularly, and uh, I, I don't like to go above that. It's it's it, it becomes very time consuming. Uh, I work full time. I've got a wee boy. Uh, Get a wife that never sees me. That's, uh, she, <laughs> I think she quite likes that. But, uh, I, I like to leave some time for fishing. I, I love the, I love the fly time. Don't get me wrong, but you need some time to enjoy yourself. So, as I say, anybody I've not get back to you, I will get back to you. Yeah. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody that subscribed to the channel. Yeah, and here's to the next time. Cheers, guys. See ya.